the one you lost. And in this video, I'm going to show you my uh, thought process whenever I was making this sketch of Kabuki. So, sorry, it wasn't Kabuki, it was Fubuki, but, um, yeah, so basically my, my goal here was, like, leading the eye in terms of, like, motion and making everything just look like it's flowy and guiding the viewer to what I want them to see. This is basically, uh, in simplest terms, the point of composition. It's to lead the eye. Uh, my particular style of composition that I like to use the most is using S's or like a uh, fluid motion. That is my preferred and favorite way to do composition. It's not the only way. There are tons of them. There's diagonal C, uh, focal point. There, there's a lot, but my preferred version is one that flows back in an S shape. So starting off this artwork, I really just went straight in and just drew it. I didn't do any guides, which is uh, becoming a common thing for me, and it wasn't for a while. Uh, lately, I've just been um, taking poses that I like and kind of reworking them in a way that I want to do them. And that's, uh, that's actually my advice. Um, whenever you're doing any pose you see, like, try to figure out the pose and the reference, but then later on kind of change it up and, like, mix and match things that you would prefer to do. Um, it's not a 100% foolproof way. Usually, I start with one idea, but then I work my way toward a different idea later. It's just uh, kind of how I do things. So, the jacket ended up having a lot of detail, and um, I had to, I realized that the arm wasn't long enough, so I kind of had to move things around. It still technically isn't long enough. Um, if you look very closely, you'll notice that, like, the, the arm probably isn't going to make it that long. And that is a mistake in uh, anatomy. And, you know, sometimes you make mistakes. I was originally going for a peace sign, but then when I turned it into Fubuki, I was like, well, she does, like, the little fox sign, so I'm going to change it to that. So that's what I ended up doing. And you'll see me make the change here pretty soon. But uh, I'm just kind of laying down everything, making small corrections here and there, trying to fix things to make it look better. Um, I kind of had uh, cut off jeans, which is a whole lot of fun. Um, I like drawing phrase in jeans, even though I'm not very good at it. But here we're getting to the idea. If you notice, there's like a strap on the, um, on the jacket itself, and it kind of moves in a motion that kind of is that S shape I was talking about. And you're going to see the S shape a lot in this particular artwork because it really is just leading the eye back to where I want it. If you notice, the strap kind of points toward the breast and into the hand. And here pretty soon, I'm going to be doing an S shape with the hair that's going to move to the face back down to the bottom of the composition and just lead the eye to where you want it to look constantly. Um... The facial shape I started with here isn't actually all that great, and I had to fix it later. And even then, I'm not fully 100% satisfied with it. And sometimes it's just, it happens. <laughs> not much we can really do about it. Um, well, I guess that's not true. I'm technically the artist. There's a lot I could do about it. But while you're doing it, sometimes you don't notice things that you do um, in the aftermath of everything. And I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this artwork. This one was just kind of a comfort one for me to draw and get done really quickly to, like, feel better. Because um, I've been very stressed lately, especially um, because I'm on social media so much. And that's not good for anybody. Social media is just a bad time, man. And if I could do art without social media, I think I would. But part of me really wants to show everything off. And, you know, you get addicted to the... Uh, the dopamine that it gives you, but man, it also hits you with a real dose of serotonin as well. Um, you know, it's one of those things, man. Like, social media is just out to make you angry at all times, and I am i don't like being angry because I get stressed, and nobody likes it. I don't think anybody truly likes being angry. They might like arguing, but, like, being angry, I don't get how people like that. I, I just get tired afterwards. But as you can see, there's the S shape I'm talking about that leads the eye back down to the face and the breast. And like, it, there's that fluid motion that like leads to everywhere that I want you to look. 
um, it's funny. You you start to plan it out so many times that eventually what ends up happening is you start doing it subconsciously. And <laughs> that's always kind of funny because now it's like I've been doing it for so long. It's just it's natural at this point. But um, yeah, now we're adding the uh, shading. There's going to be a lot of white in this particular um, artwork because uh, Fabuki and her design is minimal blue, a little bit of black and a whole lot of white. That's uh, kind of two primaries, I'm sorry, not two primaries, two neutrals and one primary. And that's actually a really good way to uh, limit yourself in design that actually ends up enhancing the overall artwork. If you have too many colors, it can end up being overwhelming. Uh, you'll notice that I turned the background green. And the reason why I did that was to make sure that I'm filling in all the spaces. Turning the background green can sometimes really help you see where you haven't um, added, uh, color. And I, the reason I didn't use the paint fill tool like I usually do is it's because it's a sketch. It's super messy. So the paint tool kind of struggles. The, the fill tool just can't handle sketchy lines. And I particularly do my lines and sketchiness with anti-aliasing, which freaks out the, the, um, the fill tool. It doesn't know what to do there. Um, I ended up adding kind of a sky background. I, I have a stylized cloud brush, but sometimes I, I hate that thing because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So now we're getting to where I'm going to start planning out little accent colors, meaning the blue, the same as the eyes and the necklace, just to kind of add a little bit of interest to um, the color scheme. And we're going to do a multiply layer on top of it, and we're just going to kind of plan out the lighting. And this is my preferred way of doing things. Um, uh, I, I ended up fixing the face, but in a weird way, I think I made it worse. So, oops, my bad. So now we have the basic idea. For a while, I didn't know if I wanted to go with kind of this like star-ish look back here. But if if I'm being 100% honest, I suck at drawing stars. Um, stars, I think it's the same way a lot of people have trouble drawing them because they're just, they're a, such an obnoxious shape. They're really cool, but they're like, they're really tedious to make, and I, I put all this work into it only to see that it looked like ass. So I ended up having to remove it because it just didn't work. So I did a little bit of research here and on maybe drawing the stars a bit easier, but I ended up just going with a, a simple like grade school star that they teach you in school. So we're just trying to get all the areas that the sunlight will be touching. And there's an exact mathematical equation and science to where light touches, but usually I just improvise it. Um, sometimes you can try to follow the math, but in a weird way, it just it takes the fun out of drawing when you get too technical with it. And rule of cool sometimes applies. Um, it's kind of a rule of thumb. If you... Uh, if it looks good, sometimes you just let it slide. It doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to look good. So now I'm adding little bits of like reflected light back into the abdomen, some glow layers, some add glow to kind of make it the, the colors pop a bit more. And we are actually approaching the end here pretty soon. We are just about done. I'm going to add the background back and I'm going to make a second pass at trying to get these clouds correct. I, I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to leave the background white or not. It was like I was struggling to figure out what I was going to do. Sometimes it's just that way, you know. But here's the whole basic idea. I'm kind of adjusting on a secondary multiply layer just to kind of plan everything out a bit more. And this is essentially how I do all my sketches. Uh, people have said that my sketches are over-rendered, and they are 100% correct. I, I over-render my sketches to the point where they, some people consider them finished artworks in themselves, but not me. I have like a whole cleanup thing that I want to do afterwards. I'm, I'm kind of meticulous about it all, you know? So now we're drawing the clouds, kind of adding little details to kind of make them make sense. Make sure they're following the light source because they're following the same light source as the character. 
And we have a solid idea here. We're going to do little adjustments. And I, I forgot to record like all the extra rendering I did and adding the yellow, which also helps guide the eye a bit more. Uh, doing some post-processing and adding some water, which uh, that that's always like a fun thing for me to draw. I actually really enjoy drawing water. I used to hate it, but I'm, I've definitely gotten better at it. And there we go. We are approaching the end. A little hue saturation turn to grayscale to make me figure out where the colors are clashing. And that is about it. Some tonal curve. There we go. More tonal curve. Uh, I, I overdid the tonal curve. Um, some dust specs, hard light layer, Gaussian blurred, and then reduced the opacity to make the entire artwork glow a little bit. And there we go. There's the finished sketch. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you, at Cooper White Shield, Rubeb, Prismic, Prismatic, sorry, 420 Zidan, Emilin, Beer, Night Angel, Andy Scaldito, Shane, Roxa, Zaret, Dalton Lily, Fainer T. Hager, Tomps Double O, Zip, Matthew C., and Dallas Long. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon, guys.